module 6 first we have queuing theory equations first lambda that is the rate of arrival mu the rate of departure that is number of customers leaving the system per unit time and rho is lambda by mu c the number of service channels m is random arrival or service rate most probably we are using poisson distribution d is the deterministic service rate or the constant rate then m d 1 case that is random arrival deterministic service and one service channel expected average queue length we have the equation 2 rho minus rho square by 2 into 1 minus rho expected average total time is 2 minus rho by 2 mu into 1 minus rho expected average waiting time is rho by 2 mu into 1 minus rho mm1 case random arrival random service and one service channel the probability of having zero vehicles in the system or zero customers in the system we have p not equal to 1 minus rho and probability of having n vehicles in the system pns rho raised to n into p naught so expected average q length is the rho by 1 minus rho expected average total time is rho by lambda into 1 minus rho expected average waiting time is e of v minus 1 by La 1 by mu next we have the system MMS infinity FCFS that is so we have a S servers and infinite capacity first come first serve system in that case P naught is sigma n equal to 0 to S minus 1 rho raised to n by n factorial plus rho raised to s by s factorial into s minus rho by s all raised to minus 1. Then LQ is P naught into rho raised to s plus 1 divided by s into s factorial into 1 minus rho the whole square divided by s square. L is equal to LQ plus rho. W is equal to LS by lambda. WQ is LQ by lambda. So if you know this P naught and LQ by using the Littles formula, you can find all others. The first one, a petrol pump station has the four pumps. The service time for each customer is exponential with mean six minutes and cars arrive in Poisson distribution at the rate of 30 per hour. What is the probability that a customer has to wait for service? What is expected percentage of time? Pump B idle. Find the average waiting time, average time spent in the system and average number of cars in the system. So arrival rate is 30 per hour and service rate is 10 per hour. We are getting the given it is 6 minute that is 1 by 6 per minute and we have to convert that thing into the same units that is 1 by 6 minute is equal to 1 by 6 into 60 hour that is 6, 10 per hour and we are substituting in these equations we are getting the answers like this we have the probability that a customer has to wait for the service is 0.5090 and percentage of idle time is 25 percentage and uh, E of WS is 9.05 minute and E of N is 4.53. Next one, a supermarket has two servers serving at counters. The customers arrive in Poisson fashion at a rate of 10 per hour. So the service time for each customer is expected with mean 4 minute find the probability that a customer has to wait for the service average queue length and the average time spent by the customers in the queue so in the similar way you are getting the answer like this point uh, arrival rate is 10 and the service rate is 3 by 2 and we have the probability that a customer has to wait is 0 0.5090 and percentage of idle is 25 percentage and E of W is 9.05 and E of N is 4.53. On every Sunday morning a dental hospital renders free dental service to the patients 
as per the hospital rules three dentists who are equally qualified and experienced will be on duty that i it takes on an average 10 minutes for a patient to get treatment the patients arrive according to a person distribution with an average of 12 per hour find the probability of no customer in the system that is p not the answer is 1 by 9 and expect the number of patient waiting in queue that is l q equal to 8 by 9 next question a bank has two tellers working on savings account the first teller handles withdrawals only the second teller handles deposits only it has been found that the service time distributions for both deposits and withdrawals are exponential with mean service rate of 3 minutes per customer depositors are found to arrive in course on fashion throughout the day with mean arrival rate of 16 per hour withdrawals are also arrive in a course on fashion with arrival rate of 14 per hour so we have to find what would be the effect of the average waiting time for the customers if each teller could handle both withdrawals and deposits and second one what would be the effect if this could only be accomplished the service time to 3.5 minutes solution arrival rate is 16 per hour service rate is 20 per hour and average waiting time in the queue is 3.86 minutes when the service time is 3.5 minutes then average waiting time in the queue equal to 11.43 minutes next a duplicating machine maintained for office use is operated by an office assistant who earns rupees 5 per hour the time to complete each job varies according to an exponential distribution with a mean 6 minute assume a person input with an average arrival rate of 5 jobs per hour if an 8 hour day is used as a base determine the percentage of idle time of the machine the average time of a job in the system the average earning per day of the assistant okay so we have the arrival rate is 16 per hour service rate is 20 per hour and uh, then you have to find the average waiting time that is 3.86 minutes and the average earning per day is so average time of a job in the system that is when the service time is 3.5 minutes then average waiting time in the queue is 11.43 okay then you have to calculate using the average earning per day of the assistant using all those things okay then thank you